welcome to today's Big Brother 19 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Danielle Schrum. Danielle, what's good? Thank you so much for your support. We really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be house guests today, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right. So last night, Mark was evicted by a vote of four to two. What? What's up with those freaking hinky votes? Alex and Jason both voted for Matt to go. We're going to be talking about the votes a whole lot in just a little bit, so sit tight. But first, we got to talk about this endurance HOH. All of the house guests were human wieners. Even Christmas was sitting there with her wiener hat on looking around. So the feeds came back on about 10 minutes after the show ended, and at that point, everyone was still in their buns, hanging on. So about a minute later, Kevin f fell off. Oh, Kevy, and everybody, everybody was giving him shit. Uh, and Josh was like, "Good job, Kevy," and Kevin told Josh to f off. Um, there was some tension between those two last night. It was a little bit weird, but not really. So then, Matt fell off. About three minutes later, um, he got startled when the bun moved because he was all like, I guess adjusting or something, and it was like leaning forward, and he was like, Ugh, "I'm out." He really stuck with that uh, eviction speech, calling himself a loser. All right, and then a few minutes later, Big Brother started spraying relish at them. Ew, it was like in The Exorcist when she pukes all the green out everywhere. It was like that. <laughs> so then Josh fell at 7.24 p.m. He was the next one out. Again, it was when the buns started tilting forward. That got a few people last night, and then about 15 minutes later, at 7.40, Christmas was like, hey, you guys want to negotiate this so we could go inside and eat some wieners? <laughs> so Raven's like, yeah, yeah. So at this point, it's down to Raven, Paul, Alex, and Jason. So Raven's like, guys, come on. We all know who I want out. Uh, what? And Jason's like, who? And Raven says, uh, none of us. Really? Because Raven was talking a lot of, she was talking a big game last week about how she won this week. She was going to put up Alex and Jason, or like get rid of one of them. So she made it sound like she was targeting somebody else in the crowd. Um, yeah. I feel like you should not be saying, y'all know who I'm going to target. That's not a good move. So anyway, Raven continues. She just wants to see a letter from her mom. She's like, I might not get to hear from her until October. And that was met with silence from everyone. <laughs> no takers on that. So for the last few days, Raven was also saying she's confident, excuse me, that she'd be able to get everyone to throw this HOH competition to her just by saying like, I need a letter from my mom. Nope, it didn't work. Ooh. So then seven minutes later, the buns start tilting forward again. This time, Paul had his hands up over his head like this, like joking around. He obviously did not care about winning this competition because he's good with both sides. So he fell off and Raven followed a few seconds later. Oh snap! So that means that it was down to Alex and Jason. So they continue like talking about deals. Alex is like, I want safety and a jury vote! Um, I don't think she realized at this point that Raven was already out of the competition, because, like, why is she asking Jason for safety? What? Um, so then Raven is crying on the sidelines, because she's out of the competition, she wanted to win this, and Matt starts being a dick. It was really weird, because all season, he's just been, like, no one, and now all of a sudden, he's, like, just yelling at them. It was really bizarre, he was like... Are you guys serious? It's just the two of you left. And he says, that's super shady. You're like trying to make deals up there or whatever. He says, this is so insane. Let's just go inside. And then he pulls out, I know I just got two votes against me. I don't know if he's like suggesting that it was those two or what, but it was. But then Jason and Alex continue going back and forth for a few minutes. It doesn't seem like Jason wants to negotiate at this point. He really wants to win this HOH. And Alex is like, all right. I'll throw it to you. But then she's like, oh, I'm not wearing my glasses. I can't see how high up we are. I, I don't want to jump yet. I'm scared. So then she stayed up there for a little while. Uh, Matt is throwing a freaking hissy fit on the sidelines. I don't know if he like had to go to the bathroom or what. But he was like, I'm so confused right now why we're still all out here. <laughs> so again, really, really freaking bizarre. I've never seen something like this before. Like freaking... 
sorry that these people are actually playing the game, okay? So then Alex finally jumps at 7.54 p.m. Ja uh, Jason wins the HOH competition. And the competition lasted just about an hour around that. And in the end, Alex asked for safety, a jury vote if she's in the final two and Jason's in the jury. And she wants to play in the veto if Jason gets house guest choice. And he agreed to all those terms. So then the fees were down for a little bit. And they come back with the house guests back in the house. And they got the smaller dining room table. It's a big accomplishment, right? <laughs> Imagine if in a future season, instead of people being like, I want to make it to the jury. What if they're like, I just want to make it to when they switch the table over to the smaller one. <laughs> now that's a goal. Okay, and then, I don't know, I guess Matt must have been hangry because he immediately assembled multiple tacos and just freaking devoured them. And then he had a bowl of cereal. He wasn't really talking to anybody. He was just like, <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know what the freak his problem was, but it was really strange to watch. So then Kevin was freaking out because he doesn't want to be blamed for either of these freaking rogue votes this week. So he's asking Alex, do you know who did it? And Alex says, no, I honestly don't know. Wow, because she was one of them. And then Kevin was in the storage room with Christmas. He's asking, like, do you know who Raven would have targeted if she won HOH? Because she made that bold statement during the competition. Christmas is like, no, I don't know. So then Christmas is asking him about the votes, and he swears on his brother's grave that he voted out Mac, and he did. Um, but he says somebody's effing around, and if anybody tries to pin it on him, you tell them no, it was not Kevin. So then Kevin was in the storage room with Jason, and he's asking Jason about the votes, and he's like, it wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. So Jason admits he was one of the votes, and he's like, I think Alex was the other one. So Kevin's just like, all right, well, why didn't you guys tell me? I would have voted with you. Like, what the hell? So Jason's like, oh, it was a last-minute thing. And it really must have been, because I didn't see them talking about this on the feeds before they went down. So he tells Kevin, you know, just keep it under wraps. Don't tell anybody about this. And uh, just be chill, you know? Just pretend you don't know about it. So then Josh and Alex were whispering in the bathroom. And Josh is like, oh, Kevin's freaking out about the votes. And I told him outside to chill out. And it was, like, really awkward between the two of them. And Alex is like, yeah, well, I don't believe Kevin. I think he was one of the votes. Wow. <laughs> so then Alex is like, well, that's only one. There's still a second person. Wow. <laughs> it's really messed up. So then Alex was talking to Christmas also about the votes. She's still trying to pin it on Kevin. And Christmas is like, yeah, it sounds good. Raven comes in. She agrees. Yeah, it was Kevin. And she says, Kevin's the only one who hasn't been on the block yet. Uh, no. What about freaking Master Paul? So she says, Kevin should go up. So then Paul joins them. Raven again repeats, Kevin's the only one <laughs> who hasn't been up on the block. And Paul's like, well, I haven't either, but I kind of like to keep it that way. And everybody's just like, okay. <sighs> so then, <laughs> this is where it gets really freaking weird. Okay. Alex, Jason, and Christmas are all in the money bedroom. Paul comes in and he says to Alex that he thinks that Raven was the second, evo second vote to evict Matt. Okay, a few things here. First of all, you think it was Raven? <laughs> you think Raven is going to vote out Matt? He says that he thinks that she was trying to stir shit up. Okay. So, he already knows that Jason was one of the rogue votes. But wow, he didn't know about the Alex one? I'm really surprised that they would have kept anything from Paul. It's really interesting and weird. So then... He's talking to Jason. Alex is kind of off on her own, but still in the room. And Christmas is sitting on one of the beds, like, a few feet away from them. She's not really, like, in the conversation, but I feel like she must have been in earshot. So it was a little bit tricky to hear this part. Um, but it sounded a lot like Jason told Paul that it was him and Alex and nobody else knew about it. So then Alex walks over and she's like... It was Kevin and Raven. Oh, shit. What? So then there is dead silence. She does not realize what Jason just told Paul. 
So then Alex is just like, what? Why are you looking at me like that? She's looking, she's talking to Jason and Paul's just standing there and still like, what? Like everybody's really confused. Um, again, I don't know 100% if that's what was said. I, I need to go back and find the timestamp for you guys. I'll try to post it as like an annotation or whatever. So you guys can go back if you have the feeds and confirm or not if this was actually said. Because that's what I heard. Um, but then the following events just don't make sense. So then Alex and Jason are whispering off to the side as Paul and Josh are talking. Because Paul, uh, Josh walks in and kind of like breaks up that conversation. But then it was really weird because Alex and Paul were both still saying that Kevin and Raven were the hanky votes. What? And Christmas and Josh are freaking eating it up. They're like, yeah, sounds good. Let's get them. So then Kevin was in the storage room with Paul. And he says, wow, Alex and Jason are really a formidable team. You know, I'm going to have to play better than this in the competitions if we're going to go to the final four with Alex and Jason. And, and we want a shot at winning this thing. So then Kevin's like, oh, I got to tell you something. I know who the votes were. So Paul's like, who? And Kevin says, well, they were the last two up there. He's talking about the HOH competition, which would mean Alex and Jason. And Paul's like, oh, really? So then... A few minutes later, Paul approaches Jason, Jason, who is showering in the bathroom. And Paul's like, um, was the second vote Alex? And Jason says, no. So then Paul's like, well, Kevin just came to me and told me that it was you and Alex. And Jason's like, well, I just told Kevin that it wasn't Alex. Oh, oh my God. No, we didn't. So <laughs> am I missing something here? Because I could have sworn again that Jason told Paul that it was him and Alex and nobody else knew about it. So Paul is still saying that he thinks that the other vote was Raven. What? What? I don't know if maybe he just didn't hear what Jason said or what, but something here is very, very wrong. So then Christmas and Josh were discussing the vote and Josh was like, uh, I gotta tell you something. I think that it was Jason and Alex because he says he was in the bathroom with the two of them and Jason would not make eye contact with him when they were talking about the votes and then Alex was she came over she was acting all weird about it being like we didn't vote for Mark to stay um, and it was just very very suspicious so Christmas is like yeah I trust your judgment I think you have a really good read on things so you know let's be careful about this let's not mess things up with Jason and Alex because they're in power this week. So she's like, it's better if we let them think that we think it was Kevin and Raven and we'll just keep that in our back pocket. So she suspects that they're using Kevin as a scapegoat, you think, and they may even possibly want to backdoor him this week. Josh is a little bit worried that he may be in trouble this week. He could see himself going up as a pawn. Maybe he gets voted out by accident. I don't know. But uh, he's also tired of Jason's fat jokes and, like, mom jokes. Uh, okay, so then, anyway, Alex and Jason were talking in the money bedroom. And Alex is like, okay, do you see now why only you, me, and Paul can know about this vote? She's like, just keep telling everybody that it was Kevin and Raven. And Jason is just standing there for a minute, and he's just like, he's panicking because he knows what he's done. <laughs> So he's like, Ugh, Alex, I effed up. And he says, I gotta go do some damage control because I already told Kevin about the votes. So then Alex is like, what the F is wrong with you? She's freaking out. She's fake hitting him. And then she coaches him like, okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to Kevin and you're gonna tell him that you were just lying and you weren't one of the votes. You were just lying about it to see if you could get him to admit to being one of the votes because he would feel more comfortable if he knew that you were the other one. And then you could just pin it on Christmas or something. What? So this shit is getting real sloppy. So Jason and Kevin were in the bathroom. Unfortunately, the cameras did not switch to them until it was mid-conversation. So it starts off with Kevin being like, uh, you just told me 20 minutes ago. Who could I have possibly told in that time? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> so then... Kevin's like, you know what, just freaking tell Josh to leave me alone because he thinks that it was me and it wasn't. So Jason's like, well, I think that it was Raven. Oh my God. And then 
he's like, maybe it was Josh because he keeps trying to point the finger at you. Maybe he's feeling guilty. This is just, it's so messy, okay? It's just another example of how Alex and Jason always manage to mess things up for themselves. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of Josh, he's been freaking cheating as a have-not, and it's really annoying. And Big Brother doesn't seem to care. Uh, he's been eating under a blanket in one of the money bedrooms, and he's done this multiple times, which, first of all, it's gross. Like, don't eat in bed. That's, that's nasty. Um, but... Like I said, this is not his first offense. If this was Big Brother Canada, the whole damn house would be on slop right now, and they would all be pissed at Josh. He should get, like, a freaking penalty knob or something. It's ridiculous. Or at least a freaking warning, but it seems like they don't care at all. So then, back to the game. Later, Paul visits Matt and Raven in the Rose bedroom. Raven was either asleep or pretending to be asleep. But Paul lets Matt know, I just talked to Alex, and she let me know that... Me and you might be pawns this week, or maybe Josh, or maybe you and Raven. I don't know. Some grouping of those people. But he says that Kevin is the backdoor target. They don't want to put him up right away because uh, he'd freak out, and they don't want to deal with that. So this is all part of the plan to keep Matt and Raven comfortable this week so that they're not freaking out, and so that they don't really try as hard in the power veto competition. So Matt's just like, okay. <laughs> so then... It's time for Jason's HOH room reveal. So he got pictures of his family, his wife, his baby, uh, only his bull. And he got a letter from his friend Frank. And then he got a lot of other fun things. He got this dream catcher from his car. Uh, <laughs> Mountain Dew, beer, deviled eggs. I think he got some shrimp. Do you guys notice that they've all been getting socks this year? It's interesting. Do they have some sort of deal with a sock manufacturer? I don't know. But his music was some country guy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So then it was time for some late night strategy talks. So Paul and Jason were up in the HOH room and here's the plan for this week. Jason wants to nominate Matt and Raven and he's going to keep them calm by saying that Kevin is the backdoor target. Uh, he'll even go as far as using the veto on one of them, put up Kevin and then vote out whichever one of Matt and Raven are still up on the block and just like pretend that he didn't know that that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> try to save face with whichever one is still there so Jason would prefer for Matt to go this week because he thinks that Raven's gonna be lost without him and she's kind of sucky in competitions I mean Matt is too but I guess Matt has won slash lost when he needed to so Paul's pretty happy about this because he knows if Matt is gone Raven is gonna latch on to him for show all right so then Alex and Jason were in the HOH room and she's totally on board with the plan to get rid of Matt that falls right in line with their um, boot order so then they talk about going to the final three with Paul Alex just can't wait to lose to him <laughs> no she didn't say that exactly she said that she'd be okay with losing to Jason or Paul because she feels like the three of them deserve it the most and uh, they also think that they have Josh at this point. <laughs> Guys, he was planning on winning the HOH this week and putting you up and getting rid of one of you. So, wake up. All right, this morning, the Tree of Temptation lit up just after 10 a.m. And Big Brother was all, the Tree of Temptation has sprung to life once again. <laughs> They've been using that creepy voice a lot this season. Um, but guess what? No one went for an apple. Oh my god. <laughs> they were just like, Paul didn't tell us to do it. And also, they feel like the rewards are not great enough to risk getting one of the punishments. This is so lame that nobody's going for an apple right now. It's like, really annoying. But anyway, Matt was complaining to Raven about the votes last night. He says, Mark didn't do anything to deserve sympathy votes. I've played a more loyal and clean game than him. <laughs> What game have you been playing? Because it doesn't seem like you've been playing Big Brother, right? Am I right, no? Um, yeah, so he's been a little bit salty today. He's finally getting annoyed about going up on the block so many times as a pawn. All right, so then Jason, uh, some other quick things here today. Jason is still pushing with Kevin that he doesn't know who the second rogue vote was from. <coughs> it was Alex. <laughs> ridiculous and Paul is reinforcing with Matt and Raven that Kevin is the target this week nope and they don't seem worried they're not even gonna go talk to Jason before nominations they were talking to Josh and asking him 
to go up and talk to Jason and then report back to them. Are you freaking kidding me? They're just like, well, if we go up on the block, we go up on the block, whatever. And Christmas was like, I don't know, it might be good to just go up and like say hey to him, you know, make sure you're on the same page, but whatever. So ridiculous that they won't even go talk to Jason. It's insane. Um, they're more focused on other things. I guess they had some sort of bet going with the HOH competition. Matt lost because he was eliminated first. So Raven now gets to dress him for two days. So she put him in a burgundy tank top with jeans and boots. He still sucks. Okay, <laughs> so then I'm assuming nominations are gonna be later tonight. It should be Matt and Raven going up unless something crazy happens. If you guys wanna check back later, I will post the nominees and the info for the spoiler. And uh, yeah, I'm excited that the feeds have come back to life a bit now because they were looking really dead last week. But now it's going to be, I think, more exciting now that people are turning on each other. So yay! Let me know what you think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.